All right, y'all, every single thing is spinning out of control in this show. This last episode is going to be absolutely wild. All right, so let's talk about it. There will be, listen to what I'm saying, there will be spoilers in this video. If you do not want to know anything about what's going to be happening, in the last episode in the season finale you need to click off right now you like you really have to and usually they're not that many spoilers i guess i don't know in my preview videos because like i always say to y'all like i don't know a whole lot about the books and stuff but this particular episode especially based off of some of the things that were in the trailer um i definitely know what's gonna happen <laughs> like i it's because i know some of the lore like i said i don't know all of the lore but i know some of the lore and based off of what I see in the trailers, I know exactly what's about to go on. So if you don't want to know, uh, just warning you right now, click off right now. So let's start because Rainey's is obviously going back to tell Rhaenyra what's up, right? <laughs> she escaped the dragon pit and she she looked good doing it. She's a bad bitch. We all love Rainey's. Rainey's is a queen who is. She's not the queen who should have been or whatever it never was, bitch. She is the queen who is because she's a bad bitch. We already love her, okay? Um, so Rainey's is obviously going back to Dragonstone. She's telling Rainier like, she, I love how she, her face, she's like, girl, they coming for you, mama. <laughs> or when uh, Rainey's was talking to Rainier in the trailer, she was like, she's, that little eye thing she did, her side eye, she was like, girl, they coming for you, mama. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad dragon, they're coming for your wig, right? So now we, okay, look at this, because we see Damon and Sir Otto here on Dragonstone in the same in the same area that they were before. I'm talking way before when Rhaenyra was young and um, they were fighting over that egg. But in the middle we see here, it's given that it's Rhaenyra and it's given that she's reading something. And I'm guessing that this is from the queen or the council or whatever, it's just from the greens because and the reason why I'm assuming this is because Alicent, if you remember when she was speaking to Otto in the last episode, she was just like, I want to present Rhaenyra with terms or whatever, something that she would just agree to and we can work it out and blah, 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 blah. And obviously like everybody knows, which is why I don't know why Alicent is trying to be delusional like this, but everybody knows that Rhaenyra is not going to settle for anything that's not the fucking throne. Like you can't be serious. You can't be serious. Swords are drawn. It just does not look pretty right now. It doesn't look pretty. And I can honestly, I'm so glad this episode is about the blacks because I can't wait to see how Damon is just gonna act completely wild to protect, try and protect Rhaenyra. I just can't wait to see Rhaenyra be headstrong like she's always been. I can't wait to see them. I just can't wait to see it all. I can't wait to see it all. All right, now you can see everybody here at the black council around the map table. Now, if you remember, there are still several houses who need to swear fealty, of course, Basically, King just died. Um, Aegon was just crowned. We still need to go through these houses, to go through everybody, the lords and all that shit, to figure out who is gonna be like, no, actually, the king wanted Ra Rhaenyra to be on the throne, so that's what's going to happen. That's what we need to make happen. Versus we need to see which, the, which lords or which houses are gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna declare for Aegon. Um, because he's a male because he's and, and of course he's the son of the king so it doesn't matter so that's where we are right now so now we're getting into a spoiler territory for real okay so like i said if you don't want to hear shit then please <laughs> please exit the premises okay so luke and jace you can see him here luke and jace are going to offer them to 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 go to these different houses and get support for rainera right and of course any mother would be like eh, i don't know about that like <laughs> but rainera as kind of like a way to hopefully avoid bullshit she makes them swear that they're not going to fight that they're just going there as envoy envoys um and going to deliver the message that she wants them to deliver to these houses now i don't know all the houses that jace goes to but allison ends up giving jace because he's older he she ends up giving jace the more difficult journeys like jace going to shit like winterfell and the veil and shit like that like so, and it's more tr more treacherous, more dangerous, but Jace, Jace could handle it. It's longer journey, Jace could handle it, right? So, what she ends up deciding to do it with Luke is send him just to one stop, Storm's End, come back, and that's it. Storm's End, the seat of House Baratheon, um, and that's it, see what's going on, hopefully get their support, and come back on, off your track. So, all three, well, I'm saying all three because I don't know who that's in the back, but I think the two in the front, the, these two dragons here, are of course Jace on Vermax and Luke on Arax. So 
I think this might be the scene where they're all leaving. I don't know who that is in the back. If y'all, I don't know. That shit is too small for me to even like guess at that shit, right? So, um, I love to see Damon approaching Vermithor here. Vermithor is a big ass dragon, old ass dragon, who was once ridden by Jaharis, um, Jaharis the king who came before Viserys, if I'm not mistaken, right? So I have no idea what Damon is doing here. It, it most times we see Damon fucking around with a dragon that's not his. That he's usually going there for some eggs or something, right? But at the same time, um, I know Rhaenyra needs more riders because Rhaenyra, at this point in the Dance of Dragons, Rhaenyra has more dragons, but she does not have. But she has less riders to ride the dragons, and that's part of the issue that we had with Daenerys' dragons. It's just like as much as powerful as she was with three of them. If they did not have riders, it was much easier for them to be taken out of the sky. It was much easier for them to, you know, miss some shit that they would not have missed if their riders were on top of them, steering them and moving them around, right? So it's like, yes, I can have all these dragons, but it's going to be difficult to control, them, especially if you're not Daenerys, right? Where Daenerys Slick had a connection, in my opinion, she had a connection, not as strong, obviously, of a, a connection with Drogon, but she had some kind of connection. I don't think she would have ever got on top of Vis um, Viserion Rhaegal, right? I don't think she would have ever rode them, but she did have some kind of connection with them that I, I don't think that we've really seen before, but right? So it's like, yeah, you could take all these dragons into battle, but if nobody's on top of them, it doesn't fuck, it, it's gonna be easier for them to be taken out. So maybe Damon is in here trying to see what's going on with the dragons, trying to see how much they got, trying to see how many riders they're going to need, um, you know, but also he could be looking for eggs here as well. Let me know what y'all think. So this is extreme spoiler territory. We get into extreme spoiler territory, okay? Because from what I can see here, um, this is the scene where Luke is going to arrive at the seat of, of House Bar Baratheon, right? He's going to arrive at Storm End. And it's going to be bad because Amon is already there. So, so Luke is going there to try and get support from Storm's End from House Baratheon, sent by Rhaenyra with a message, and that's it. But Amon is already there, and Vagar's right there, bitch. <laughs> Amon is, I mean, Vagar's right there. So Luke goes in. This, and I know this because of the Lord, right? So it's going to be interesting to see how they um, it's just portray this. On the screen, from what I from what I understand, Luke is gonna go there. It's gonna be a little bit of shade and shit because Amon's already there. Amon has already won over the support of House Baratheon. Um, Luke is still going to try and do, do what he has to do, deliver his message. They scuffle a little, not scuffle, but um, Amon is almost like trying to just settle the score a little bit because if you remember, Luke is the one who slashed out Amon's eye. Um, and I think the trailer is showing us here somewhere um, Amund removing his eye patch. So I think Amund is going to bring that up, be very, very threatening to Luke. Um, and as we can see here, Luke is going to just deliver his message, whatever. He's, he already swore to his mom that he was not going to fight, right? So he just d delivered the message, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to run back to Erex. Erex, I mean, it's fucked up because there's a storm, right? It is really bad. Erex is small as fuck. Um, Erex, <laughs> Luke is going to try to escape on Erex, but it's not going to, it's not going to be giving anything <laughs> because Eric, like I said, Erex is so small. Uh, the storm is very strong. And then what's going to happen is that Vega, Amon is going to go on top of Vagar and say, Hey, what's, what's good, mama? <laughs> what's good? Vagar, even though it's storming, Vagar is big as fucking strong as shit. So just Amon has more control. Vagar has more control. It's not going to end well. For Luke, it's just not going to end, end well for Luke. And so this is just a very, very, very good spot, I think, to end. And you can see Vagar's mouth coming up to snap at Eric. It's like, like, it's just not going to end well. It's not going to end well. It's just, especially for the Blacks at this point, at this point, it's not going to end well for them. Um, right now, it's obviously going to be fucked up and heartbroken, but it's definitely going to... If you thought lines were drawn in the sand before, it's definitely going to be drawn now in this uh, finale. So... And this is making me so much more excited for season two. Y'all need to be filming that shit now. Y'all need to be filming season two right now. Don't let me wait two, three years for another one, y'all. Give me what I need right now, okay? 
But I can't wait to see what happened. Hopefully we get like a cute little twist or something. Something that may even surprise the lore girls, like the people who know what's going to happen um, based off of, like I said, what we see in the trailer and what we see in the lore. Like we already know what's, what this is. Storms end. Yeah, it's going to be very sad. It's going to be very sad. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. Tell me what you expect. Tell me what you want to see. Love y'all so much. Thank you for checking out the video and I will catch y'all later.